How's it going, folks? I'm Mark from Like Minded Lunatics. Howdy, I'm Lottie. Ricky, trick or treat. Oh, that's right. It fits in because we're doing a Halloween thing. Halloween? Here, folks. The whole Halloween. month, fellas, is all oh. Halloween material. And uh, to kick it off, I did a matchup, or not a matchup, a reaction to uh, Bauhaus's uh, Bella Lugosi is Dead. It is weird. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. You can go watch right it. there to watch that. But I love Peter Murphy. <laughs> Peter Murphy is so good, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and one of the things that in researching it I read was that Bauhaus, you know, they started the goth genre of music. At least most music ethnologists agree on that. And one of the things that a lot of researchers kind of said happened was after they put out Bella Lugosi is Dead, uh, bands like um, The Cure and Susie and the Banshees really transitioned from kind of like a alt-rock type thing to goth. And so mm. they, even though they were contemporaries, the Bella Lugosi is Dead influenced a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I thought we would take a look at a Susie and the Banshees music video. Uh, we're going to take a look here at uh, The Cities in Dust, and this came out in 1985, uh, and it's a beautiful video, and uh, I was just excited to kind of watch it with you. I think it's very Halloween-y and, and kind of its theme, so I thought we'd take a look at it. Sounds great. And yeah. you both know Susie and the Banshees. Mm -hmm. I know Susie and the Banshees. I don't know this song, I don't think. I think you do. Okay. I, I, it's one of those songs that would have played in the background at a lot of Halloween parties and stuff, mm -hmm. kind of like Thriller. Uh, it's one of those type of songs. Okay. But as we've established... I didn't go to a lot of parties. <laughs> uh, it's usually tradition around here to have a beverage with our Friday Night Reaction video. Uh, Ricky and I are going with Tufts because they're doing these Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Look at these covers on these things. They're amazing. They're beautiful. Beautiful. And I, I have a tub of tea. A tub of tea. So it fits with Tufts. <laughs> So cheers, Rick. Cheers. Uh, cheers, Lottie. Lottie. Cheers, everybody. Happy Let's Friday. go back to uh, 1985. Ooh. That's already looks great. That's when I'm making my strawberry jam boiling. <laughs> that 80s transition. <laughs> yeah. No. You don't? Yeah, okay. I do. I recognize it, yeah. I think it might have actually played in Stranger Things in one of the newer seasons. Oh, Could have, yeah. I have to watch that. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous video, though. Uh, Susie Sue just lying there on her side. I, I just love her. Beautiful. Such yeah. a cool sound. It's cre so, it's kind of ethereal. Yeah, and it's dreamy and yeah, very I, rich. I feel like it's right up your alley. It's like, like eating very dark, rich chocolate. Mm, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. We found you lying Is that the old man from the Unforgiven song? That's what it looks like. You remember the old thinking, man from Unforgiven? I was Lottie just remembers thinking, a wrinkled old man disturbing. I was just thinking, is that the alien they yes. found in Mexico or something? I, I, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it does look like a melted candle of some sort. You yeah. know, if you packed your shit up and you forgot it in storage and you brought it yeah. and you're like, well, this candle's ruined. <laughs> like, that's what... No, <laughs> let's put it in the video. Put it in the video. This used to be a statue of David. Look okay. at it now. I'm going to ask you, was this a, a big hit for them? Or yes. is this was... A, so this was on the radio? Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I was. You don't remember the whoa, whoa, yo. I that remember part? nothing about oh. this. This 
kind of like a was it Sergio Argento type thing? Like, oh what, yeah, yeah. yeah. with the bright the, the bright burst bright of colors. color and the weird and the kind weird of stuff happens. Yeah, and you're not sure what you are. Uh, Phantasm. You know, I was oh, oh yeah, yeah. Phantasm. Ash, really, yeah, Phantasm. Yeah, yeah, watching that is like this. I was just thinking about her voice. Where I where are they? Are they English? English. Yeah, yeah, UK. It, I almost kind of hear some of that Keening in there that we've talked about. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so Keening yodeling. is a an Irish form of yodeling that was yeah. done as a lament for the dead. Uh, so oh, well, that's very appropriate. Dolores O'Riordan in Zombie, famously, and the cram the cranberries. The cranberries. She she keens in that in that song. I kind of hear some of that in here. It almost is. Stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, well, obviously, I can't do it, but uh, yeah, I think you're do, right. Try it again. I'm not going to. <laughs> And makeup is uh, on Oh, that's point. 80s, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, in that, she looks like she could have been, uh, what's her name? Uh, Faruka's bigger sister <laughs> yeah. from that other video. What was the video we, we saw? Breakaway from ZZ Top. Breakaway from ZZ Top. I don't she know could have her older I'll, sister. I'll, I'll link it over here. Yeah. yeah. Good uh, plug. <laughs> yeah, from the craft and then Vicky Valancourt. Yeah. <gasps> That was a good drum run right there. <laughs> Haunting, and those images of her with the light just hitting her eyes, just yeah. perfect. I can't imagine how long they had to stage that to make sure she would get that every time. We talk about this every once in a while, but yeah, the lighting in this video really adds so much. It's beautiful. And people don't think about how important lighting is. Gosh, it's so important. Like yeah, like you're talking those and all the dark, all the darkness, all and, the shadow. It, yeah, it, all the shadow it, stuff. It's got to pull your attention to exactly where it wants you the to be. The focal point, which yeah. is her eyes, yeah. and, and they are everything just else mesmerizing is just in the background. Yeah, just fading into shadow. Ooh. Something about these practical effects too that to me are more impactful than CGI stuff. So oh, yeah. Like, like they're obviously just overlaying the film with that that figure of that guy. But to me that I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of our age and that's what we grew up with, but those practical effects feel more impactful than, oh, I'm gonna put this through After Effects and then overlay it. Yeah. I think so too. It just it's it's so much more work. It kind of gives it a more uh Blair Witch haunting kind of feeling. You know, because everything happens right there. And the thing that you said, too, it, it's more work. I think that's also part of it, where there are imperfections, and those imperfections feel more human as opposed to the special effects that are literally precise as hell. Perfect. And there's something that is like that uncanny valley thing that takes me out of it. You know, we've talked about that in music before. Like when you overprocess something, it removes the humanity. Like somebody would mm -hmm. be like, oh, the voice cracked there. We need to fix it. Quote unquote. But then, I mean, that's not a human anymore. And nowadays, I feel like undo is kind of running art. We, well, you know, it's yeah. this idea that you can correct. It's like you make it, you make it work. Yeah. Even with all of the little 
imperfection. Yeah. But uh, what I'm going to say, and this is old music, I'm going to introduce you to, not old music, but well, well in the 50s and 60s, they were very proud of the fact that when they had a singer, singers were told that they either had to hold their breath or move from the mic yes. because you were not allowed to hear a breath. Right. It wasn't until Karen Carpenter came on and actually breathed on mic, uh, uh, you could hear her taking a breath while she was singing, Yeah. that, that it became something that was okay for everything to happen. Right. It was, and everyone was all right with it now, and even to where Michael Jackson turned out compressors so you could hear all the vocal pops and everything in his mouth. And now we're getting to the point where we're taking them back we're out taking again. taking them back out. And I think it removes the humanity. I, I think so too. It, it, it's a person singing and it makes it so much more beautiful when you realize it's another human being just like you doing this. I, think, I mean, not just like you. But. I'm hoping it's going to become more <laughs> important again because of like the proliferation of AI stuff where you know, folks want to hear live performances again. I think it has to. I think we. I think this is what we did. You know, 80s went to, uh, you had to be beautiful before anyone was going to look at you, and now we don't care. And right now they're playing with AI and everything's going to have to be perfect. But at some point, people are going to want humanity. Well, I, I just feel like this video is so gorgeous. Like if we had a, a Halloween party and I had a movie theater screen, I would love this playing on loop. I, I don't know why I didn't hear I liked her. I liked her, and I don't know why I didn't ever hear this song. I'm honestly shocked you hadn't heard I the hadn't. song. I am. I'm, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm less shocked by the things I missed. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm shocked. Uh, well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, take care of yourselves. Make sure you check out all of our other Halloween content. We've got links to our previous years in the in the description. And they should check out their Halloween candy, too. Mark, oh, don't you have something? That, right. We've got a Halloween uh, uh, a special edition where we tested Halloween candy. You can go and check that out over here. That was a fun time. Yeah, but don't you have a, a, don't you have a, 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 a service announcement about Halloween candy that people have to go see? Do I? Yes. Okay, I'll put that I've right seen here it too. I'll put on that like-minded Mulan text. Oh, that's what I do. You, <laughs> yes. You can watch that right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, let us know in the comments what you think. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Adios. Adios.